Hey what's happening guys and welcome to your 12th Bootstrap 4 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about tooltips. Now I'm guessing you all know what a tooltip is but just in case you don't this is what it looks like hover over an element and ta-da we get a little bubble popping up with more information. So that is what we're going to be building with Bootstrap 4 in this tutorial and this time around it's super easy and it uses tether. So we're going to need to include this tether library right here before we load in our bootstrap JavaScript right here. Okay. And jQuery as well, because it's going to rely on these two things. So what we're going to do first of all is enable the use of tooltips on this page. So the way I'm going to do that is by adding in another script tag down here and popping in some jQuery. So I'm going to paste this in, then I'll explain it. So all we've got is a document load function which is going to fire when the document loads and then we're targeting any element with a data toggle attribute equal to tooltip right then we're using the tooltip method on those so it enables those tooltips on our page that's the only javascript we need to do bootstrap for handles all the rest for us so super simple the next thing we need to do is decide where on our page we want this tooltip to go okay so i think what i'm going to do is do it somewhere right up here. So if we take a look at our website so far, in this little bit where it's describing the Net Ninja, I want to add a little tooltip on some of the text. So let's do it around, say, this to this thing right here. So the first thing we want to do is surround that with a tag. I'm going to use a span tag, uh, copy that and put it right at the end over there. Then we need to add some attributes to this. So the first attribute we want to add is that data hyphen toggle attribute, data hyphen toggle, set it equal to tooltip. So then this jQuery down here is going to find it because it's looking for all elements with this data hyphen toggle attribute equal to tooltip and it's going to use the tooltip on it. All right. So it's going to turn this thing right here now into a tooltip. But we actually need some text to put inside that little bubble, that tooltip that pops up. How do we do that? dead simple we just add a title attribute right here and then we place whatever we want to display in that bubble in this thing so i'm just going to say this is a tooltip and leave it at that so if i save it now check it out in a browser let me just refresh and if i hover over those words somewhere here now i get that tooltip let me just zoom in so you can see that so hover over these words we get a tooltip pretty cool right but we don't necessarily know that this is a tooltip just by looking at it. It's no different from the rest of the text right here. So let's just add a class to this thing so it stands out a little bit. So we'll say class equals and then text hyphen info. We've seen these kind of things before. This is that blue color, that info thing. All right. So save that and view it in a browser. Now this time we can see that it's blue and it looks a little different. So you might think, well, OK, I'll hover over this then we get more information about it. So you might see these things on maybe definitions of words that mean absolutely nothing to you, such as that thing right there, um, or even links or other things uh, like next to forms where you get little question marks, etc. Okay, so that is how we create a tooltip. And by the way, this is using JavaScript, which is cool, but I have done a tutorial on a CSS only tooltip so if you want a much lighter version of this, then check out that. I'll leave the link to that video down below. I want to show you one more thing, actually, before I finish up here. And that is going to this thing right here and adding a data hyphen placement attribute onto it. So right now, if we take a look at this, this is coming up at the top. But what if I want to display this at the bottom, for example? Well, I can do that by setting this equal to bottom, saving it and checking it out in a browser. This time it goes to the bottom. So we can do this with top, left, right, and bottom. By default, it goes to the top. All right. So there we go. That is how we create a tooltip with Bootstrap. So anyway, that's about it for this series. Uh, like I said, it was meant to be a mini series offering you a glimpse of what's available to us in Bootstrap 4 and the differences. Uh, you can learn more about what's on offer over on the Bootstrap blog or docs. The links to those are going to be down below in the description. Uh, so yeah, I hope this has offered you a bit of guidance on your magical bootstrap journey. And uh, I will actually be doing a bonus lesson at some point in the future about some of the different flex properties Bootstrap 4 has to offer us as well. But anyway, until next time, keep on uh, bootstrapping, I guess.